what's going on, bro? It's your boy V Dub, and I got two reviews. Just saw the new Star Wars today, man. Went to see it 3D IMAX. I don't know if it's worth going to see it in 3D. You might, you might not want to go see it in 3D. Cause I, I really didn't see a lot of effects. I don't know if it was because of my cousin. My cousin, I was getting him some drinks. So when I get in the theater, we was kind of like, when I get in the theater, my cousin got to sit in up front. See, to me, that's all he sees, seek a fire. So man, I saw him sitting up in front. So I, I don't know, the 3D, it wasn't. But man, that nigga Vader, woo hoo, Vader, man. At the end, Vader was like Ninja Gardens in that bitch. <laughs> Hey, when Vader, when Vader went Vader, boy, that boy went Vader, Vader, hey, Vader, hey, Vader was like a motherfucking ninja in that bitch, I was like, oh shit, that was like the most action, it was like they had John Claude Van Damme, it's, it's Dark Vader or something, that motherfucker was, and I was like, damn, I swore James Earl Jones was dead, is James Earl Jones dead, or is he still alive, I don't know, cause goddamn, I thought he was dead, but I don't know. Cause Vader voice was on point like it was in the 80s. Like James Earl Jones ain't even left. I was like, I thought James Earl Jones had died. But I don't know. I might. I think I like the Forces Awakening better. I mean, the role was good. But I think I might have liked the Force Awakening better. But when Vader. It was just like when Vader. When Vader parts came on. They was so epic. Vader was like, you know, Vader is my all-time favorite hero. So I'm like, yeah, I'm mean, a favorite villain, whatever. I always voted for Vader ever since I've been a kid. But when Vader came out, that shit was <laughs> when you heard his voice, you were like, <laughs> and then when I heard James Earl Jones, but I kept like, damn, I swore James Earl Jones was dead. I kept swore he was dead. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get a movie four point five. I get a four point five, you know. Maybe if I go see it again and sit back and see if the 3D really affects me. Because I didn't see no 3D at IMAX. I ain't see shit. I felt like I needed my money back. When I say I ain't see no 3D effects, I ain't see no 3D effects. Even when I went to see Independent Day, bitches, we was in that ducking. Like, you know, spaceships was flying at us, at us and shit. We was in that bitch ducking. I ain't see none of that shit. So I'm going to give the Rogue Story or whatever. I give it a 4.5. I wish Vader would have had more, more shit in the movie. If Vader would have had more shit in the movie, this shit would have got a five. Easily a five. Okay, my other review. So my cousin got a KS 8000, 65 inch for Black Friday. She just now got it though. But yeah, she got it. So I've been over there playing with it, you know. I was doing some H. I took my uh, 4K Blu ray play over there. Just to see what this big hype is going to be about the HDR making the shit look better and all this shit. And all these people on YouTube, man, you can see the total difference in everything with HDR. This is a fucking gimmick, dude. That shit look just like fucking Blu-ray to me. I, I, I did all the fucking picture settings you could possibly do. And the shit looks like Blu-ray. If All the thing I say different is if you turn the brightness up. But other than that, I wasn't like, wow. I think the best movie, I put in like, I put three movies in. I got the, I put uh, Suicide Squad in. I put uh, Suicide Squad, what was the other movie I put in? Oh yeah, I put X-Men. You know X-Men look pretty as hell on Blue, X-Men Apocalypse. You know that shit looks pretty as hell on Blu-ray. And then I put the rele the relevant in. It's so bad that my Luke Luke Cage 4K Netflix doesn't even look that good on that TV. Now I had an old Sony 4K TV, the one that just got stolen. I mean, I got an LG, but I ain't put it up 4K TV. But the Netflix 4K, cause I got Netflix 4K, this shit didn't even look good on the TV. It looked like I watch a regular ass fucking TV. Now on my Sony TV, the Netflix 4K, that shit look good. But anyway, you know, everybody be praising this TV like, oh, it's the colors is popping and all this. I think you got to have the brightness on 100. Even though I like my shit bright, 
Yeah, I keep my shit bright. So that's the, um, you know, I didn't, I wasn't like, wow, I didn't see nothing to make me just be like, man, I got to go buy this TV tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because I was thinking about it again, the KS 8050 or 55 or get a Sony 850B to replace my TV that got stolen. So I don't know yet, but I, I didn't see nothing to just be like, wow, this bitch is fucking killing. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody be praising the KS 8000 like this shit is. That's like to see it better than the pictures at the movies. So I didn't really see nothing. I mean, it's a good TV. I give it that, but I don't see nothing that's special. You know, just like the a regular fucking TV. You know, it get bright, but I wasn't like, wow. You know, so that's my reviews on both of everything. Star Wars KS eight thousand sixty five inch TV. I should have took videos, but I didn't because I was too busy trying to get the picture set. So peace. It's Sunday night football. Go check out that road because it's Vader. Ooh, Vader is that man. Peace out, y'all.